what is up guys it is our second video on this channel so tonight we're going to was it cummins cummins cemetery cummins cemetery so we were looking for any cemetery we could find that's open at night um can you slide on your seatbelt real quick you can keep it recording if you can um we finally found one it is an old historic cemetery so it's not like an active cemetery so you don't have people like currently being buried there and visiting i'm pretty sure all the graves uh the names and everything will roll off from now so that's pretty cool it's in sharonville Ohio, yeah by the sharonville way. so like i said in the last video i'm in the forest park area my buddy chris is in the passenger seat you hear his voice too he's from hamilton which is a lot of uh my friends so they're from there too um also guys like i said in the last video comment below if you know more places like this in the area I had a couple recommendations, but when I asked people personally if they knew they'd be open, it was a lot of, oh, I think, or last time I checked, or the only thing I asked is if you give me something that's 45 minutes away, just tell me I can for sure get there. <laughs> I don't mind driving, but I don't drive 45 minutes somewhere and can't get in. But anyways, we're gonna check that out. Um, second video on the channel, first video was the Lick Road. Check that out if you haven't seen it. Caught some pretty cool footage there. But tonight, like I hinted at, I got Chris with me instead of Mike and his girlfriend. Um, Chris, you want to go ahead and just say kind of like what you believe in ghost-wise or what you don't believe in? Uh, yeah, uh, I would say I believe in ghosts. I mean, I've had some couple minor things happen over the years, but like really nothing too crazy. So I'm still kind of looking for that concrete piece of evidence still. So. And the one thing I did talk a, lot, a little bit about my first video, I didn't mention anything, but I lived in a couple haunted places or places that seemed weird. Chris saw the Highland place, so he can he can verify some of the weirdness that happened there. Uh, once again, just like he said, though, I was never anything super concrete. It was a bunch of stuff that was very difficult just to explain. Some, just some weird shit. Yeah. yeah, but it was never something that was like, look, okay, I see that, that's a ghost. Um, I did make some progress in my belief, because I do want to update this too. So it's interesting seeing how my experiences change, me or my friends. Um, I did have more concrete belief after the whole like road video, after seeing, I mean, hearing something and then having the orb kind of match with what I'm hearing. I thought that was insane. So that really spooked me out. Um, one thing I didn't mention like road video and I didn't mention to you and it's pretty cool. So when I was leaving, I go to step over the exit, you know, that rock you step over and you leave. Mm. So when I was leaving, I heard a big loud sound in the woods. Now me and Mike both turned looking for what caused the sound. And it was weird because it was right when we were leaving. And we were trying to debunk it. I started hitting the trees to see if I could make the sound. And neither of us could do it. Well, we are like, okay, when we get home, watch the video, see if we can figure it out. Well, when you get home and you watch the video, there's no sound. Even though it was a super loud sound right next to the camera. Really? There's nothing that's on camera. You don't think that it was just a lack of a camera not picking it up? or It was right next to me. And it was so loud, you see all three of us instantly react and jump back. Yeah. Like it was an animal or something. I thought nothing to it, and we even made a joke one point in time. I was like, oh, that's Ooh. the, wow, that was sketchy. Yeah, they about wrecked. I made a joke about, oh, the ghost is telling us to get the fuck out. Well, now that I have no audio on it, I was like, wow, what if it was telling us to get out of there? Right, right. But, uh, yeah, so we're going to hit this up tonight. Uh, we only have one flashlight, so it may be a little less brit, a little less lit than Lit Road was. Lit Road? Lit Road. It lick. was lit. lit. Lick on Lit Road. Lick on Lit. You lit liquor. Uh, but we're still hoping to get some good footage and have some fun. Stay tuned, guys. All right, guys. Cummins is closed. We're at Pioneer. But look how close it is to a super busy road. I mean, the cemetery looks sick. But this is another really busy road right here. Cummins has a um, holiday lights festival going on right now. So the whole like park right lit it, up. Yeah. Um, we're going to see if maybe there's continued on the other side. Because this is way too close to the road to get in. But I did want to show it real quick. Because look how sick those old... I mean, those are wet ones literally made out of wood. Those are sick. Only if it wasn't like literally right by a super busy road. I'll let you know, right, guys. So tonight has kind of been a failure. Went to Cummins, they had a festival of lights. Went to Pioneer. It was like a foot away from a busy road. So now we're at the Jewish Cemetery in on Pleasant Avenue in Hamilton, Ohio. Um, it's kind of close to the road too, but we're still going to attempt to see if we can get anything. Um, we don't want to call it a failed night, so we're still going to try to get something. Cummins. Cummins looked really sick when it's not it going to be Festival cool. of Lights, so we're excited for that. And Spring Grove. 
we started looking it up. If you're from the Cincinnati area, you've probably heard of it. It's the third largest cemetery in the nation. A bunch of Gothic sculptures, but they're not open at night. So we're going to have to go there during dusk one time. This is a pretty cool gazebo. I said it was kind of creepy because it's randomly it's placed. It's actually buried there. That's no, what... it's a in loving memory. Well, someone may be buried here, but it just says in loving memory like it was a dedication. If, if he is like buried in there too, that's honestly really cool because they can come sit with their family member and... Yeah. So here's the thing, guys. With almost all sounds, we're going to have to discredit like 95% of them. Not all of them. <laughs> <laughs> <coughs> thing we can not discredit is if something super obvious happens. Besides that, it's kind of just getting something in. I mean, this place is like actually really beautiful. It's old. I mean, it's got the old timey look. Just... I don't get like it's a crappy location for it. Yeah, I don't get the cre the like creepy vibe. This is like relaxing. You know what I'm saying? Like this feels like if I came here to visit my loved one, I'd be like, this is cool. Like this is this is something I'd, I'd enjoy coming and visiting. Some cemeteries you instantly just feel creeped out when you start thinking of a cemetery at nighttime. See, that's what I was hoping for. <laughs> well that's what we're going to get here in the near future. <coughs> we're gonna have to find a night too. <coughs> Well, you have nothing to do. So, like, the next day. So oh, we can... yeah. Yeah, just stay out all night. Yeah. Because... we got the giant uh, cemetery. It's way more dark right across the street. It's off. Rosenberg. It's pretty cool. There's, um... Yeah, it's, uh... Must be a family. There's another cemetery we probably could have hit, and we may go back and do. That, uh... Um, that one. Oh. What? Where I thought there was a pool in, and there wasn't. Because we can park right there and walk in. Yeah. As you can tell by a lot of these graves, guys, they're from, like, the oh, 20s and 40s. <laughs> we found something moving in the cemetery. Clickbait. So, also, another thing is, this kind of gets our feet wet. So, here's the thing. We've been to a cemetery now at night and know that it's not just a super creepy, eerie feeling. So if we go to one and we get a really bad feeling... Maybe it's a good thing. But we're also... You gotta think that. I mean, we're right off Pleasant Avenue, too. I mean, we're off the main road. Exactly. Like, this would be different if this same cemetery is located, like, out towards Oxford or something. Yeah, oh, and another yeah, one we're right. gonna do. The Millville one. So that's another one. So even though tonight... Oh, we gotta go... These are super cool looking. Isn't there some? There's got to be some out towards Oxford too. I mean, out, there's nothing the country. Right? There's a lot that I'm assuming are close, but the one I think I went to, well, the one I went to, I think is towards Oxford. Weird reflection. Come look at this. So look between those two gravestones. You see that? And it moves with my camera. What's that? See those those two dots? What two? Oh yeah. What's that mean? I don't know. But look, I go down. It's gone up that's some reflection of some sort i don't know what exactly but <laughs> look it's in the tree now i know i know i don't know what the hell that is that's really cool oh look you can get two on screen at the same time right side and left side i don't know what it's reflecting off of some of these headstones are weird look now i have it on you it's literally on your head a hey, clickbait <laughs> I wouldn't actually do that. This is, I don't know if maybe it's, okay, look, this light right here. Found it. It's reflecting oh, my yeah. camera off this light. Okay. I knew it was something, but I wanted to find it because if not, I was like, this is kind of cool. I like that bench in the middle area. That's kind of cool. I do want to walk up a little bit further first and get these big ones. Then maybe we'll walk up this side. But yeah, so. We have two we can do in the near future. We have Millville, which I think we do whenever we're both available. And then Cummins, which we can do as soon as they stop having light festivals by the old 1800 cemetery. It will be nicer to do this like in May <laughs> and not, you know, almost January. Yeah, but at the same time, look how old that one is. There's nothing on it. This one literally just, is this a, is this a grave right here? Like this? 
maybe this is him. Oh. And they just it's like got the name out. Look how cool that one looks. Does it say anything? It's beautiful. Lot 34. Maybe they may have it marked that way they know where he's at. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm saying. So the newer graves we're seeing in here are from the 20s. So the older ones, I'm assuming, are probably 1800s. So if you're newer or from the 20s, then the older got to be super old. Because the thing is, this lot is basically, I would assume, considered full. This one, like, it's completely, like, wore away until you can faintly see. Um, let's find a good spot to cross. A non-disrespectful spot. And another thing I'm going to say on this video, right here. There's no graves. Guys, when you... Oh, this one. So let's walk down. And then through. That's more six feet. We're good. Yeah. There's well, and, unless he's nine foot in, tall. In between the bushes, too. Uh, here we go. Let me walk over. When you go to graveyards, guys, the reason all these graveyards are locked up, I was talking with Chris, is compete because people are really just horrible people. They'll come out here and vandalize someone's resting spot. Like, not only is that super disrespectful to someone who's passed away, that's super disrespectful to like their family and friends. And maybe this side's newer because can you tell the difference? And yeah, and you can also just tell with the style. The style's different. The people have been here recently. You know, those older ones have that known. Let's see. 1969 right here. Somebody was literally just buried right in that one. Rest in peace. So apparently there is users on this side. Maybe that's just like where it started. Cool seeing some of the writing in Hebrew on some of these. Yeah, it is. I think Mike speaks Hebrew. He speaks a bunch of weird, useless languages. Like, he speaks Latin. So, yeah. if we ever go somewhere and, like, a demon attacks us, we're cool. One thing I honestly don't know is if all Jews know um, Hebrew or not. I would consider the modern ones no. And your older ones probably yeah. He's, uh, I think he grew up technically Catholic. He's not really religious anymore. Pretty sure he grew up Catholic. Let's go look at this Cohen's grave. Here's, I'm assuming, where he's buried. And his memorial is over there. Because that was the same name that it said in loving memory of. Looks newer. Yeah, I want to try to see if this says anything out of it. Yeah, so, oh, it's one of those ones where not a, both of them have passed away. One's uh, born in 27, one's born in 23 and passed away in 2017. I wonder what those rocks symbolize. I've seen, there's been rocks on a lot of the graves, actually, on top of Almost them. all of them. I don't know if the camera picks it up, but you can see rocks on almost all the graves. I know in some cultures it's bad to have rocks on a grave and stuff on a grave, but I'm assuming in this culture it's good considering this is a open public cemetery and well, everyone's got that, rocks on yeah. it. Unless there's just somebody in Hamilton that really hates Jews too. And she comes out and does that. That'd be, <laughs> that'd yeah. Be, that'd be fucked. <laughs> yeah, people are horrible, so never put it past them. But here's the thing tonight may not be the most interesting footage. It does two things, because I'm still going to make this a video. A, it shows that like, it is kind of hard to find this stuff. And B... Well, if you're just doing it on your own and not looking at the internet list, trying to get we, places where everyone... I mean, well, we did, yeah. but like, we're trying to find places Here's on the our thing, own. Here's so. guys. Like, a lot of cemeteries, if you'll look up cemeteries near me, they don't have hours to show if they're locked or not. A lot of them are locked as soon as, like, like six or eight, depending on your time of year. Um... And it's and the, the best prospect that we found that we can't go back to, because we can go back to Cummins. We can go back to that one, that Blue Ash one. The Pioneer one. I got footage of that, so you guys will see that. But dude, that looked like super sick. And it's from here to this tree. 
Yeah, from here to this tree, it's a major road, and it's literally split in half. Yeah. So, like, you know there's probably people buried under that road. What they do, whenever they do things like that, is they'll dig the person up. I mean, they'll leave the person there, and they'll put a headstone on the other side. Is there, like, a gate or something? I can't really see. Yeah, there's a gate. I think that's someone's yard. Yeah. How creepy would that be to look out your backyard and there it is and see this? But another good thing for us, it established that... If we go to a cemetery at night, it doesn't have to feel creepy. This feels calm, relaxing, and kind of like good. The light, though. Yeah, <laughs> true. Yeah, so if the next place we go doesn't have as many lights, maybe that's another thing we could take away. But guys, that'll be it for this video. Um, next video is probably going to be the Millville one or um, Buffalo Ridge Road. Probably one of the next ones. Uh, Chris will probably be back for a couple. Meg's going to meet a bunch. He's actually watching Star Wars tonight. I'm kind of jealous of that. Um, but stay tuned for more, guys. If you haven't seen the Lake Road Investigation, check it out. It is a super sick video. And like, comment, subscribe. Thank you for the support, guys.